Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is an alleged massive credential leak. The big news today is definitely this story that a Russian criminal has leaked over 272 million email addresses and credentials to go with them. Now, all these stories are based on a blog post from Hold Security. You might recognize the name Hold Security. Back when Adobe had a breach, Hold Security found all the stolen records. On top of that, in 2014, I had a blog post talking about how Hold Security claimed to have found a Russian criminal that had over 1 billion stolen records. Now there were a lot of questions around this particular claim. No one was really able to validate Hold Security's claim that this 1 billion stolen records really was legitimate. So we really had to take Hold Security's word for it. In any case, according to their latest blog post, they were able to get 272 million email addresses and passwords uh, from another Russian criminal. Now, according to them, this Russian criminal was offering to sell these records for 50 rubles, which apparently is about one US dollar, a tiny amount. And ultimately, he gave away all these credentials for free uh, just for people liking him on social media, essentially. Now, Hold Security claims these are mostly webmail credentials. Most of them belong to mail.ru, a Russian webmail site. But apparently, 15% of them are Yahoo credentials, 13% are Microsoft Hotmail credentials, and around 9% are Gmail credentials. Now, so far, Mail.ru has responded to this. They claim that many of these record pairs, the usernames and passwords, are really duplicate usernames with different passwords. More importantly, they say that so far the username password pairs they've tried don't work today. So most of these aren't valid working credentials. Uh, Microsoft has also responded saying they have mechanisms to detect fraud, and so far they haven't detected much yet, and they will report to their users if they do. And I don't think Google or Yahoo have responded yet. But long story short, there is some question whether or not these supposed 272 leak records are really valid today. So what's the practical takeaway here? Well, even though I'm not sure if this is a legitimate leak, I think it's better to be safe, not sorry. And on top of that, tomorrow, May 5th, is actually World Password Day. So I think it's a good opportunity to, to improve your passwords. So if you do use mail.ru or maybe even Yahoo, Gmail, or or Microsoft's Hotmail, it might be a good idea to change your password. As always, I recommend you use a different password at different places. Your webmail password should not be the same as your online banking password or the password you use to log into your computer at the office. The easiest way to maintain multiple passwords is to use password managers. And finally, if you can take advantage of multi-factor or two-factor authentication, I highly recommend you do. Many of these webmail services like Gmail do allow for this, so take advantage of it. So to recap, the big news is this huge password leak, but it seems to be kind of hard to validate whether these really are valid credentials that are leaked. Nonetheless, with World Password Day coming, it's probably best to change your password if you can. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.